Looks like we got some work to do. So as you can see from my training peak shot, Outlaw Nottingham is three weeks away. I don't know why, but the last couple of weeks I've just been saying to people, yeah, I've just got a big race in, you know, five, six weeks time. And I sat down this morning, looked at training peaks, gone, oh, it's in three weeks. Shit. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not nervous at all. You're nervous. <laughs> we got next week, I'll hopefully do a bike course recce there. So if anyone is keen on joining, sorry for the last one. I know I didn't actually do it because the weather was terrible and I had really bad car issues. Hopefully all those are sorted. So if the weather's good, I'll be doing a bike course recce then. Then I've got a stand distance, kind of another warm up race. And then it's the big day at Nottingham. Here's the start list for anyone interested. Um, and it's quite packed, not gonna lie. There's some big names. Tim Don, don't know who that is. <laughs> Obviously quite a big name. Uh, let's go through Luke Pollard, decent athlete. Andrew Horsfall Turner, decent. Jimmy Kershaw, he's good. Reese Barkley, he's good. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry if I'm missing anyone's names. Uh, Finneran's decent. Jake Callis, he's good. Donald Brooks, he's all right. Chris Stanbridge, decent athlete. God, I could go through all of this and name some very good athletes. Uh, Ross Harper, Chopper. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to come stone dead last. <laughs> Harry Palmer, your big boy right here. Um, he's going to do well. I can already tell. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm not nervous. Um, the start list is it's pretty stacked. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Having not raced a stacked race for a while, as everyone is in the same position, I'm definitely more nervous than I normally would be. Uh, so yeah, that'd be interesting. I mean, one of the biggest names there, Tim Don. I swear, Tim Don, he's like, he must be like 200 years old now. I mean, has he got his, has he got his bus pass yet? So, I mean, I don't know if he'll... <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Anyone who knows Tim or if Tim is randomly watching this video because he's bored of watching good videos on YouTube, um, that was a joke. <laughs> so... Don't hurt me, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's crack on with today's training and uh, and go through what I'm doing to prep myself to be in the best shape possible come race day in three weeks' time. That's the swim done. Um, that was, yeah, pretty tasty, actually. Overall, about four and a half K. Main set was 30 minutes in total and you just keep rolling through and you do it as 50 hard or 50 50 back down a little bit but still kind of quite an endurance pace or 50 50 hard again or 50 and then 50 easy off 60 and you just keep rolling through until you get to 30 minutes so i think we did um was it 1700 something like that um but yeah i hate those sessions i hate them so much and then strength set after that was uh, five 200s on a 90 base pull and paddles, which felt good. Actually felt better at the uh, the back end of that session um, rather than the, the 30 minutes. Swimming's going well though, which is really good. Promising coming towards um, some more important races. That's, um, that's really promising knowing that hopefully I'll be kind of in the mix coming out of the swim so I don't have to battle too hard on the bike to get up to a pack I'm kind of hopefully I'll already be there but yeah we'll see how it goes still soldiering on right um Left. so mum and brother came around for a dog walk and stayed way too long I'm not gonna lie and messed up my carpet and they messed up the carpet with the dogs and it's late Nearly quarter to seven, <laughs> and I still haven't done my bike and run session. So it's going to be a late one tonight. I got CrossFit class. CrossFit? Yeah. What? What's that? <laughs> we <What are you> did. <laughs> I can't see you past the, the class microphone. For tonight. Let's have a look. 
So yeah, just to go through the session this evening. No, me first. No, oh, you first. It's, this is my YouTube channel. No, no, no uh, shared. Uh, <laughs> go on then. This is mine. What are you doing? Do -do. Yeah, just talk. Just oh. tell the people. Fine, got. I don't want to read. As many rounds as possible in 20 minutes of 200 meter run, 15 deadlifts, 12 push-ups, and push press. Wow, that's really boring. Ow. So the person's going to sit on the bike for an hour and a half. And you for a little run. Me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my session is 20 minute warm up, two minutes build, um, three minutes easy, five by four minutes at upper end zone five. So I'll be doing about 390, 400 watts for four minutes. Six minutes recovery, yeah, do that five times and then ten minute cool down. That is not going to be comfortable, I'm not going to lie. That's going to yeah, sting. Fun. That's, yeah, that's not going to be fun. And to be fair, if this was any other time, I'd be like, nah, you know what, screw it. I'm going to put this like later on in the week and I'll just push it back. But because Outlaw is only three weeks away, <laughs> need to actually... Make sure I do it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. To be honest with you, there are some excuses I could come up with, but at the end of the day, you can keep making excuses. But on race day, when it comes down to it, if you've been missing sessions and you've been making excuses, it's going to show, especially when you're trying to be competitive and you're trying to beat some of the best athletes out there. So, even though it sucks, even though it's late in the evening, even though I can't be bothered, still going to get it done. Still going to do it. Still going to crack on. Going to finish late. But at the end of the day, uh, it needs to be done. So, and it's going to make me feel really good when I get on the line at Outlaw or any other races this year, knowing that I've given 110% and I've done the training that needs to be done. Um, I could quite easily sit on the sofa tonight and go, ah, oh, you know, it's too late, I'm too tired. Um, I've done a really good swim today, blah de blah Like, yeah, great. But I haven't done the bike and the run session that I need to do. So I'm gonna do it. I'm actually so nervous about this session. <laughs> oh, it just looks horrible. Something to get me through though. New route on Zwift, so that'll keep things somewhat interesting uh, I don't know if anyone can see up here but I know I've talked about the session um, but yeah I've got it on erg mode because these four minutes are just gonna be hell four minutes at 390 watts six minutes at about 180 five times through if anyone's got some absolute bangers that they'd recommend for a session like this Drop them in the comment section below because I'm getting relatively bored of my playlist that I use at the minute and I'd like to get some new music. So let me know if you've got any recommendations. Here we go, first rep. 10 seconds. Got on some motivational music. Let's get it. One more rep, and I am dead. This is savage. Four minutes at 390 watts. I like haven't experienced pain like this for a while. This is gonna be overall 20 minutes at 390 watts, which is big. Like, if I can get through this last rep, four minutes, just gotta suck it up. It's gonna be some screaming, it's gonna be some crying. And that's coming from me. Yeah. <laughs> do you want some squash? Not right now, I think I'll throw up. Okay, do you want some squash? <laughs> oh god. 90 seconds left and then we'll get it done. Woo! Ain't another bit of peanut? Ain't another bit of peanut. Oh my god. Ah. 
5.4 watts per kilo. Obviously, I had rest in between, it wasn't just solid 20 minutes, but yeah, that was hard. Now it's done, like super confident inducing. Nice to know I can put out those kind of numbers. Um, so, yeah, with three weeks left to outlaw, you know, it's promising. I'm gonna have a gel now. I got about 13 minutes left of this just to spin down. Having a gel now just to make sure I'm training my stomach to get used to running off um, with gels in it. So. Sugar. So as you can see, it's just coming up to nine o'clock now. It's mad out it's still bright. It's actually crazy. So, yeah, if it was in the winter, it would be so easy to say no and not go out on this run. But because it's light and because it's a nice evening, why not? So 30 minutes, nice and chilled, running off the bike. I've had that gel, stomach isn't feeling 100%, but we're only a couple minutes in, so hopefully it settles down. It's not a bad way to end the day, not gonna lie. That, that's pretty stunning. Half nine now, so yeah, it's fairly late. Uh, I could definitely not do that every day, but got it done, finished off. Really happy with today's training, actually. The swim was, the swim was good, it was hard, it was horrible. Bike session, really, really chuffed with that. Um, super like confidence inducing, which is good. And then easy runoff, not much to say about that. It was not fun and it sucked, but it was only 30 minutes, so just got through it. <sighs> Everything's, yeah, gearing up towards Outlaw in, in a few weeks. Um, so yeah, the, the nerves all start to build. Uh, which is understanding obviously haven't raced at that kind of level for a while i've still got a warm-up race um on the 13th i believe uh it's a standard distance eaton dawny hopefully i see a few of you there if you're going let me know in the comment section below um, and let me know in the comment section below if you're doing outlaw nottingham as well um, it'd be good to meet as many people as possible so yeah hope everyone's training is going well look forward to meeting you at races and I'll see you in the next video.